Today we are doing a weapon attack that is triggered on Keypress, and it does damage. I call this our slash beam, and we are starting right now. Okay, grab a part, then rename it slash beam. Next add point light, like this. Change the color to toothpaste or choose any color. Set brightness to 10, set range to 8. Now add spotlight like this. Click to select spotlight and add these settings. Set brightness to 10. Set face to bottom. Change color to toothpaste or white. Set range to 15. Click to select the slash beam part. We are going to change the size. Change size to 10, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Ok we are done creating the slash beam part. It needs to be moved to server storage. Click and drag it there like this. Next click the plus sign next to replicated storage and add a remote event like this. Rename the remote event to slash beam with a capital S. Now we need to add a script to service script service. Do so like this. Ok. Inside this script start writing all this code exactly as shown. Pay close attention to capital letters and the syntax and make sure you have it 100% correct. Ok, that script is done, if you are troubleshooting just check line by line. Pay attention to the capital letters and syntax, it just needs to be exactly written like this. We need to add another script. Just click the arrow to expand starter player. Then add a new local script. Like this. Then just rename this script, to attack script. Inside the attack script, start writing all this code exactly as shown. Pay close attention to capital letters and the syntax and make sure you have it correct. Once you have the attack script completed, you can run the game to test it. By pressing Q on your keyboard, the player should now fire out the slash beam, and it will damage other players and enemy mobs. You can test the damage by adding a dummy to your workspace. That's all for this tutorial, now that we have this working we can now add sound effects and animation to our player. So that it looks and sounds more real. We will do that in the next video. To recap. This video we added a new part and named it slash beam. We moved the slash beam part to server storage. We added a remote event to replicated storage and called it slash beam with a capital S. We added a new script to server script service. And we added a new local script to start player scripts. The end result is an attack skill that does damage. The player can fire this by pressing a specified key. In our case we use the letter Q. This is the god of coding at Epic Blocks Dev signing off, see you in the next one.